Hello, fellow good fellas and fellow fat smellers. To set the humor for the start. Woo! Ah, I have no energy today. <laughs> uh, I can actually tell a story if you guys want. Why, why do I care if you guys want? I can just talk about it. <laughs> But let, let's just first say hello. I can already see. Hello, Rihei. Hello, Cyrus. Hello, Basti. Hello, Deppa boy. Nice to see everyone. Ugh. Sorry, I mean Deppa. I know you don't want to be talked about. I know you want to be referred to as such. And not as the Deppa boy. Ugh. I had... Uh, probably one of the most stressful working days in a long time. Which I'm not really used to because this entire year was a lot, a lot easier to deal with than last time, uh, the last year. And oh my god, <laughs> I had a, my boss basically said that I should deal with a project. Like the, the, then we got a new project that requires footage, the camera roll footage from an older one. So I tried to like find that footage in our archives. And realized, oh, uh, the footage is in the section that I cleaned out. Because my boss wanted me to, uh, a while ago, to clean out the archive and, like, sort a few things and stuff. So I did. And then I realized, ah, wait a minute, the, the footage is missing. <laughs> like, all of it. Weakness. Literally everything. Even the project data is gone. Like, like the premiere date, uh, the premiere files from Adobe and everything is completely gone. And then I was like, the boss didn't have time for me to like, talk about it. And I was super terrified about him being mad at me for like, losing literally 200 gigabytes of data. <laughs> so I was really, really, really scared about like, telling him and then they, it took me hours to be able to talk to him about it. <laughs> Just for us to find out, oh yeah, it's all on the, it's all on the uh, server backup. <laughs> Everything is there. It just, for some reason, is not on the uh, on the public on the public server side, which was very relieving. Now it was because you cannot believe how stressed master. out I was about losing all of the data that we needed for the project. No sense the enemy the because imagine our super professional company just going, oh yeah, um, we cannot do this for you. We cannot do the commission you asked us to do because yeah, we lost everything. <laughs> <sighs> and and the second I found out everything is there, my my heart just dropped. Oh, I, I felt like I was ten ten entire like kilograms lighter than before. Oh, also had a light lantern. How do you take a coffee? A dark as dark as my soul. One glass of milk coming right up. Our respective abilities. Ah, I see it as a No, I get it. Actually, I, I am I am that guy that takes too much milk in that coffee. I don't not, do not like the taste of coffee. I don't like I like like the only person in my office job <laughs> doesn't like the taste of coffee. Come on, hit something. He's a crowd. Yeah. Let's raid this little village, I guess. Which way, I'm excited for the Minecraft stream to, uh, story tomorrow. I'm also excited about it. I'm really interested in how it's gonna go. Because once it. I've played it tomorrow, the server's gonna go live for everyone to join. I'm gonna set up something in Discord, if I, like, <laughs> manage how to do it. And then we can all just build our own server. One rule... Griefing is completely illegal. If someone grieves, they're just getting, getting instantly banned. Only exception for that is Lantern Light. <laughs> because he's gonna be the antagonist, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Look at this, this looks like a really nice place for bandits. Oh, I'm really excited about, like, to see how the server is gonna go, because I know how I react to Minecraft. I play it for like a week and then never touch it again. So I am excited to like try it out with you. I think it's gonna be fun. Ah, I think it's locked from the inside. 
Hand over all the coin in your purse. I shan't allow any further harm yeah. to come to you. Where is he? I grant you lightning span. Oh yeah, of course. If it's like consensual griefing, then it's then it's okay because at that point it's not griefing. With griefing, I'm actually just talking about you destroying something somebody else built without their consent. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harm. Because there's nothing that ruins my fun more. Shall we see if there's all to be found in uh, Minecraft than griefing? Uh, the problem is that I can't, I'm going on vacation two days after, so I can't play. Which means you can come on the server with already a lot of stuff being there, which is also a good thing. Mm. But yeah, I'm really excited about trying it out. I looked on the server, just like check if the mods worked, and they do. And I think it could has a lot of potential to like work out as a big thing. Did they change my metal looks? Oh no, it's from a golem. Ah. And I think it has a lot of potential to like just like be a lot of fun with like the community building our like own structures, seeing what the mods give us. Because here's the thing: if you want to play on the server, you need to download all the mod packs. I'm, um, Lantern and I are gonna set up something on the server so that everyone can just like download the. Hopefully, I can just give everyone access to the Google Drive so that everyone can just download the entire mod pack and easily play with us. I think because. I think it has a lot, just like, there are a lot of things that we could do and I never really played on a like, bigger server than like, maybe two people. So I think it could be a lot of fun, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's blocking everything, oh shit. That guy is strong. Uh, I'm just excited about like, seeing what, what, uh, all the things that you can do in the game. With like the new enemies, new bosses, the different classes you can t you can pick. Yeah. And also at some point we have to, after Minecraft, That's maybe once nobody <laughs> wants to play Minecraft anymore, we have to start our own V Rising server. Maybe we kind of do that once V Rising actually launches in the 1.0, because that also s is a... V Rising is basically the perfect mixture between an ARPG, like a top-down Diablo-like ARPG and and a survival game, so I'm really, I really loved it when I once uh, when I played it back then. So I think that also could be really funny to play together, especially with all the vampire shit you can do in the game and the PvP elements. How do I get inside of there? The map pick is a single size for, uh, zip file, so yeah, that's that's a good thing. It's just one zip you have to download and put in your mod folder or use something else to like install the mods. The mod list is technically public. Oh. Don't you uh, uh don't you know V Rising, Cyrus? It's a a top-down survival game where you're a vampire and it has a lot of like cool gimmicks. For example, you cannot walk in the sunlight. Like you'd actually have to like walk through shadows in the daytime, and it's really cool because you can like find different. Um, probably need an archer for that. The cool for, the cool part about it is you can just do like a lot of different things with it. For example, there are like transformations you can unlock. You can turn humans into your slaves. You can build your entire like vampire it's castle. It's really cool. Some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a I've been deliberating on One some fun servant reactions. I'm excited what you have in mind, man. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Fascinating. I think at the end of every play session, I'm going to change the con files. <laughs> Essentially, doing events. I think that could be cool. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see how you're gonna try to be like the big bad of a server. And what you could do with that. Build a big elf tower, that is a safe haven is my plan. That could be cool. I think elves are actually a class in the game as well, aren't they? Because because you have to you have to know you actually can now pick classes in Minecraft. If you join the server, you have a choice between, like, I think Elven, Humans, uh, obviously, like, the Revenant, which is the, the Necromancy class and stuff like that. And all of them have, like, their own perks, their own things. For example, me, the Revenant, uh, villagers are always evil towards me. Oh, that's a Manitaur. Okay, let's see how, how this goes. Go villagers are always evil towards me. I cannot sleep. I'm really excited. 
You just have to remember me. I also have to set up a few other necromancy games for tomorrow. For example, I still have to download the Grim Dawn mods. <laughs> oh shit! Woo! Woo! The server's open 24 7, yeah. We're gonna, we're not, you don't have to only play on the server while I'm playing. You can play whenever you want. I'm gonna check it out sometimes and then on the streams as well. It's gonna be a while before I even can mention it in. That's a good part. It's gonna be a long time before I even can mention it in the videos because there's like two more necromancy videos in the pipeline. So you don't have to worry about anything. Oh my god, look at the fucking damage! <laughs> So we can build a lot of things that I can just, uh, I'm almost thinking about just making an, uh, like a separate video where I'm just talking, like a new necromancy episode where I'm just talking about Minecraft, just to like show off what everyone built. That's a lot of goblins here. Spin attack! <laughs> I just really like how the sword plays. I wish there would be more classes that would be able to attack with like one-handed swords. <coughs> like my biggest problem with um, them having removed the mystic, uh, the mystic sword, or the mystic knight, however it was called from the first game, is that my favorite class in any video game is um, a one-handed sword fighter that has one a sword in the right hand and magic in the other. That is like my favorite kind of class dynamic. Did I miss a cave? Did we go into the hidden cavern? I don't think so. Let me check that out. I'm just going to uh, live in a ho live in a hole on a mountain. Hey, that sounds like it's a fucking off uh, amazing time, man. Do whatever you want on the server. It's all yours. That was the server for you. Never even have to interact with anyone. You can just go to the other side of the fucking map and play with whatever you want. Do whatever you want. You can play as a holy figure. Well, that also sounds like... I mean... I'm just so excited about like trying out the different things because this is like a completely new experience because this is barely even Minecraft anymore. And there is a cave. I haven't played Minecraft in a while as well. We would be in a ah, I checked out the cave already. Ah, that's the one where I don't know where... Ah, yeah, right. we can check out if the slime is there now. If we can, like, ex make it explode to get through there. Ah, um, yes, my favorite way to play Minecraft, isolation. I mean, <laughs> I know people who are like that. I have played Minecraft with people that play the game alone. On a, on, a, on a server with us. I literally played, that's not even that long ago, I think that was like almost a year ago at this point, where I started uh, a new server with a girlfriend and a few friends of hers. And one of them actually just <laughs> went like 10 minutes into one direction and started building his place there. Because why the fuck not? <laughs> that's what I mean, everyone can just do whatever the fuck you want. Just do, just do what you have fun with. If you don't have fun with us, but still want to be on the server for like the mod experience or something or like sometimes interact with us go on the server man That would be one uh, one question that I would actually have I have seen lantern that the server currently has a max capacity for of like 10 people That should be more than enough for now Because I don't think there are gonna be more than what six people that? on the server at once a With the current size of the server a But who knows how that's gonna be in like a, a few months uh, Just give me a second. I'm getting a call Who's calling me? Hello? Michel hier, Firma Klunz Immobilien. Hallo. Hallo. Hallo, Sie haben mir die Mieter Selbstauskunft zukommen lassen. Ja.
I am so sorry, guys. I just got... <laughs> I got a call from someone that actually wants to give me his apartment. I found the landlord who accepts me. <laughs> I have to... I have to pick another... I am so sorry. This is the worst timing ever. I'm getting a thousand calls in the last time. Uh, <laughs> my girlfriend actually watched the stream. Okay, I'm gonna mute me again. I'm actually put, I'm gonna put up the potty break. I am shitting thing just so that everyone who comes in the stream knows I will be back in five minutes. Give me a, a second.
Okay, I'm back. Is everyone still there? Or did this just kill the entire stream? <laughs> I see I see you had a lot of fun. Okay, let me let me just go through what what you have written. Okay, what is all of this? <laughs> Why does free turn into a cat face? What? <laughs> a lot of uh a lot of cat smileys. Oh my god, are you back? Loris Wild. 100% chair speed run, new world record, the chair, rising chair. Why are you starting to say <laughs> stupid memes again? Uh, you want more chair? Okay, okay, um, how about this then? We're gonna play like this. This is this is the new streamer guy, this is, this is chair chan. This is chair chan, I'm gonna play over here. Just give me a second, Um, the mic, so that you can hear me. This is my new roleplay as Chachan. I hope you like it. Okay, where do we go next? Where do we go? Oh, nice! Look at this. Another ruin. Let's go up the ruin. You have my protection. Ooh, where are they? Kill the gremlins. Yeah! Ah! Yeah! Come here, little bitch! I can't reach the chat from over here. I wish you could see how I'm standing right now! <laughs> I'm looking so fucking stupid. Uh. Okay, come. Come on, let me hit your... Let me hit your tail. Come here, asshole! Fuck! My chair has the biggest hands, you just can't see it. Wait, wait, I can, I can actually do this. Oh, that's a big potato. Can you still hear me? I think I have to be kind of loud over here. It might be of use. My mouth is completely covered by the chair. Ah, oh, no, this is not a good position. <laughs> Now, now the chat can actually see something, his entire face was hidden. Okay, what? Uh, where do I have to go next? Uh, I'm walking in the completely wrong direction, okay. Chair grew arm for our entertainment. <laughs> Okay, I think I have to go into this direction. I wish you could uh, shield surf in this game, similar to how it works in Breath of the Wild. Game is missing some core features. Why is my lantern on?
What are you laughing? A nice wooden bowl, perhaps? <laughs> Cherry <laughs> putting the A in chair. DX Racer. Good old chair. I haven't paid. Okay, I'm just gonna sit down because you you haven't seen this. I, I'm standing over here like this. I'm standing like this over here <laughs> to be able to somewhat read the chat and be in the microphone's range. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna end this and sit down because it's hurting my back. <laughs> But when I'm already standing, you know what? When I'm already standing, I can actually show you. I showed him on the Discord already. Look at this thing. Look at the size of this guy. He looks a lot smaller in the camera right now. Look at the size of my Exodia toy. <laughs> This is the coolest model kit I own. This is such a cool thing. It's a completely movable figurine of Exodia. <laughs> you, you know what? Uh, let me just pause the game. I can actually make it bigger. Yeah, look at the size of this guy. Look at... You can, you can actually see. These are my other... These are my other toys. My other um, Gumpla figures. Look at the size difference. He's twice the size of a normal gunpla. <laughs> it actually was fucking easy to build this guy because every part of his is like massive. The smallest part was his face. Love this guy. <laughs> Let me just put him back in the uh, this place. You cannot see him. He's over here. Over there, yeah. Can, can you see him? I'm, I'm unsure. <laughs> He's inside of this. Uh, let me put everything back. Now it's now it's gaming time, guys. Whew. Okay, I have to... <laughs> uh, I was running around a bit. You, I'm not built for moving a lot. Okay, uh... Okay, how do I put the camera back in its original position? Like this? Yeah, that should be fine. Hello, Forbidden One. Oh, yeah, he definitely is a Forbidden One. Have you seen those cheeks? <laughs> Devlin Boneman, my skeleton roommate. Ugh. I see. Whenever I should make a VTuber model, it's just gonna be a fucking chair. I, I have, at some point, I have to... <laughs> Streamer gave us a hug. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At some point, I'm just gonna make my own fucking VTuber model, and it's gonna be... <laughs> it's gonna be a chair with anime eyes. <laughs> Can we see the screen, please? Aren't you seeing the screen? The screen should be there. Oh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very proud about my posters. I can actually talk about this. Okay, okay. I have two Metroid posters. A poster for Metroid 2, and a poster for Metroid 3. Super Metroid. The thing that is really annoying about it... Um, there wasn't, and um, there was like multiple se selections. There was like uh, an NES collection with three posters, a Super Nintendo collection with three posters, and there also is like you know, oh, it's so warm, and there also is like a, a Game Boy selection and stuff like that. Like for every Nintendo console, there was like a selection with three posters, and in the NES one, it was I think uh, Mario Bros. Zelda and I think Kirby was it for the Game Boy it was Metroid 2 Mario Land and Link's Awakening which was great obviously and for Metro uh, and the Super Nintendo collection had Super Metroid Link's Awakening and a link to the past and Mario World and this is so annoying because the Game Boy collection did not have um the Game Boy Advance collection did not have something for Metroid Fusion, which is super annoying because now I have Metroid 2 and 3, but they're not the posters for Metroid 1 and uh, 1 and 4. And I'm also mad because I didn't get the special co uh, collector's edition for Metroid Dread, which means I also don't have a poster for Metroid 5. But I have a Xenoblade poster, <laughs> which makes me happy. 
No, you would really fit the role of a British alchemist who keeps failing their experiments while getting pestered by a party of dwarves, a, a single orc and a random sentient gelatinous cube. I am the definition... I am the literal definition of the word ADHD. And you're gonna, and I think uh, a lot of you have already noticed that. I think it's kind of funny as well because I did. I started the stream with having like zero energy, and thanks to the last call, I got a lot of energy right now, which just re uh, resulted in me now having being completely hyperactive. <laughs> Where's my? Where did I put the phone? Where did I? Huh? Shit! I need my phone on my on my desk. Where did I put it? Where did I put my... What? Where did I put my phone? Fuck. <laughs> ah! Oh, my. Okay. Found it. Everything's good. Good evening, Kirsty. Nice to see you again. Okay, I just need the phone on my... Uh... Okay, I need the... I need the phone on the table, just in case something is happening again. Also, literally, where's my member? Uh... I asked you last time, but you didn't say anything. You want... Uh, I wanted to ask you on which account you want me to put the member on, because I said you wanted it on your main account, and this, and I thought the Wii Lian Ho isn't your main account, which is why I didn't give it to you yet. Because I'm not gonna do it live on stream. If you want... You need to be able to ping your phone from your watch. I don't have a smartwatch. I, I really am like... Oh, you said this one? Okay. Then I'm gonna give it to you after the stream. Don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna keep my promise. You won, the, you won the contest, you're gonna get it. I'm just gonna do it like after the stream, there was already enough tangents happening. I don't have a smartwatch because I generally do not like, uh, like having a watch on my, arm, on my arm. Which is why I never really like used anything related to that. I just don't like the feeling of something like on my arm for uh, an extended period of time. At some point, it's probably a good idea. I thought about getting like like a smartwatch. Like, I mean, I have an iPhone 14, so why not just also get like the newest uh, or like one of the newer versions of the um, the I Apple? How is it just called? Is it just a Apple Watch or something? I don't know. What are these big rolling? Things. Are these just zones that are he rolling around? We can move this boulder if we work together. Shall we set it rolling? I thought that's like a sentient. I just had some Elden Ring PTSD. I thought that stone is sentient. But yeah, I, I thought about getting a, like an Apple Watch, but then I realized that it costs the same as a, as one of their phones, and then I just, just thought, no, I'm not gonna do that. That is what I use my smartwatch most for finding my misplaced phone. I feel that so much. Oh my god. I mostly just uh, tell my girlfriend to call me to find it. I lose it so much and then it's literally just laying next to me. I hate wearing shoes like slippers. I know that. I mean, for me, everyone has like their own quirk when it comes to stuff like this. For me, example is uh, I do not like... I do not like wearing socks for an extended period of time, so I just like... As soon as I'm home, I mostly just like... Take them off. Okay. Whee! Nice. That's actually a pretty nice camping site if you look at this. This is a... That home looks like it's pretty new. Compared to like what else we have found uh, in the wilderness. Like, I'm surprised there's nobody in there. Almost, I almost would say it's like, it's like an inn. You're catching up to Jess' level. I mean, I'm level 34 now. Isn't she, like, almost level 50? Hello, big boy. Uh... Do I want to go down there? Probably not, right? I, I think I would just want to go this way first. You know what? I think I'm just gonna like loop. Yeah. To finally finish off this part of the map. I definitely have to rehire her uh, 
in a bit. Not yet, but soon enough. Oh, you mean, you mean the instance I currently have? Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely on her level. Kill the wolf! Yeah. It looks like there's like an, uh, another small settlement over there. Hello, BJ! Nice to see you in the evening. What are these guys doing over there? I'm gonna win Bunch of fuck! <laughs> Hang in there, master. I am coming to assist. You do your vacation proud. Ow. Do that again. I grant you lightning spans. Because if we could try try one part of a human body, what part Are we are we already starting talking about eating human flesh again? Is it already that time? <laughs> I can't complain, I created this community, it's all my fault. Okay, looks like I have connected this part of the map. I could actually check out if there's anything else up there. This looks kinda empty. Hmm. Let's just complete this road on the, on the mini map. While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps Jessica, I show you the don't way. roll the stone! You hear something? Where is he? Eh. Uh. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh shit, the griffin. Oh! Okay, that that isn't the griffin, that is just a harpy. Oh, this looks nice. Are we leaving already? Oh, the view's great. Bother. I was just getting warmed up. Get it down! <laughs> Great job, Gerald. You're doing your best over there. Oh my god, it actually worked. That's yeah! A breach did a lot no of. Feel so alive. <laughs> Hello. Okay, danke. Mm -hmm. Wieso nicht? Ah, I'll take that. Dann, dann sage ich einfach, das ist der aktuellste. Fertig aus. Ja, ist okay, ist okay. Ist okay. Mama, der will einfach nur, der will einfach nur eine Bürgung wissen. Ist alles okay. Was? Halt die Schnauze. <lacht> Weiß ich noch nicht. Er will uns jetzt, er will uns als seine größte Empfehlung einreichen erstmal. Mama, das ist der Makler, nicht der Vermieter. Er möchte uns als die, als die größte, als die größten Kandidaten. Nein, er hat gesagt, wir werden seine Wahl. Aber er kann nur Empfehlungen an den Vermieter einreichen. Das heißt, er wird für uns ein sehr gutes Wort einlegen. Und er braucht für uns deswegen, weil wir jetzt in der super engen Auswahl sind, einfach nur sämtliche Bestätigungen, damit ich diese Wohnung auch sicher bekommen kann. Am Wochenende wahrscheinlich. Okay. Ja. Uh. <lacht> Sorry, guys. My mom wanted to talk with me about the, about the apartment. And my brother wanted to know when I move out because he wants my room. <laughs> Sorry for the surprise German again. It happens more than I wanted recently. Wah! Bam! Oh yeah. I definitely have a lot of energy again. 
Can I open the chest now? <laughs> what is it with you and cannibalism? That's also the same thing I ask every time. I better remember he's a Haspen Hotel fan who loves the... Like he said right now, he loves the cannibal town and also... We're all a necromancy community. I created this myself. <laughs> Oh, nice, another settlement of these guys. Let me check out the area first. Ooh! Another dungeon. Okay, I'm definitely gonna check out this then. Just walking around this area before I return. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm ready! Whack! <laughs> Get sizzled in your ass! Oh my god, are you fucking serious? They jumped down the waterfall! Ah! Morons. All morons. Most impressive master. Okay, I hope I can just revive them. Jessica, I need you. Okay, I cannot revive them. I have to kill them first. Stop shooting at me! Okay. Nothing's better than pawns just fucking killing themselves. So close a call offers no solace. What fails to destroy for a moment? I thought Thank I you. Met my end. My thanks to you, Arisen. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Miner's hosen. Hosen? I found a pair of hosen! Pretty bad hosen, but it's hosen. I, I like the word hosen. Because it's literally the German word for trousers. Let me just give all my shit to somebody else again. Yeah, Jazz, make yourself useful. If you already have to kill yourself, at least <laughs> take my stuff with you. Oh no, I want to keep these. Just to be sure if I actually help. And uh, just take all of these as well. Oh yeah, actually, that is so cool that, you re that the Revenant can eat the rotten flesh. Without like, getting... You're, po uh, you're immune against poison, which is really cool. But it also it makes sense, I think, because you um, you basically need it due to you not being able to sleep. By the way, what is about phantoms? This ox cart was Are you still able to like fight against? Do you still like get phantoms when you don't sleep? The work of God. Would be kind of uh, stupid when you cannot sleep. Oh, why is it so bad? It actually would look cool. Hmm. Eating rotten flesh still gives you hunger. Oh, okay. I thought it just... With caution. It was just normal flesh for a revenant. Is this truly Let's the time to romp about? Yes. You ought not to be so careless. Tell him. Oh, shit. I want to explore this dungeon. You still get phantoms? Isn't that kind of stupid, though? Because I cannot sleep. Does it mean just every time I go outside, I'm just gonna die? At least I have minions with me. There are other ways of getting rid of phantoms unrelated to the Origins mod. Okay, that is at least something, because the only way I knew how to get rid of them is to sleep. Can I just say in general that the phantoms are like the worst mob they ever added to the game? The mob vote in general is just fucking stupid. Hello! Yeah! <laughs> Bring you down! I shan't allow any further harm to come to I really like the sword fighter. Again, I still wish I could use magic with him. You know, Venati will have that uh, phantom attacking you. Oh, that sounds horrible. Okay, you're not making it sound nicer to me. 
water is now invisible in this gloom. No few times I've been the biggest issue. Steps soaked my boots. Fair enough. Ah, yes. Also, the server has that reasonably cheap Bloodborne guns. What? Okay, that sounds sick. A lot of, like, armor pieces in this dungeon. Ooh. They're a lot weaker than mine, but they are only for the other class. For the big fighter. Okay, somebody's coming in again. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, sollte ich bekommen haben. Jetzt. Die so. Ich schaue jetzt an. Okay. Ob die das ist. Welche Wohnung jetzt oder was? Nicht die Wohnung, mein Lohnzettel. Ja, ja, ist okay, ist okay. Ja, das ist es. Geh mal drauf, ob du es aufmachen kannst. Das ist so digital. Mein Scheiß, da kannst uh. du nicht aufmachen. Hast du mir nicht einfach ein Foto schicken oder so? Ah, hier sind so. sie doch. Du hast mir zwei E-Mails geschickt. Hä? Ja, das sind zwei Lohnzettel. Nein, nein, du hast mir diese E-Mail geschickt, da sind die Fotos drin und das ist nur mit so einem Code. Ja. Das ist die yeah. mit den, den Lohnzettel. Ja, okay, dann, dann danke, dann nehme ich das die. Perfekt, das, die, super, dann nehme ich die und schicke die dem Typen. Das ist die vom März. Genau, danke schön. Ja, dann mach das. Ja, nein, nein, ich, ich, ich mache gerade was noch. Ich bin live. Ja. Du warst gerade in der Kamera. Ja. Ist okay. Scheiß, mach das, Denk, ich habe ihm schon gesagt, ich bin nicht daheim gerade. Er weiß Bescheid. Okay. Hopefully that was it for today. Um, there's gonna be some uh, downsides to having the ability to summon an unlimited number of minions. Unlimited? Okay, I thought it was like, you can maximum have like five or something. I didn't know it's unlimited. Being harassed by phantoms is a small price to pay for some... For minions, that is true. I like the idea of the static of phantoms. Um, the execution, though, also. Uh, biggest C is not a word? Did I say biggest C? Oh, what do you mean? Did it? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean by uh, saying biggest C is not a word, but yeah. The phantoms in general are cool, but I just don't like being forced to go to sleep. It's only limited to the amount of uh, bones and rotten flesh. Yeah, that is crazy. That's crazy, man. I like it though. I'm excited. We're gonna try it out tomorrow. Thanks to thanks to Lantern, I actually have a few starting materials already. So we're gonna we got, so we're gonna start out fresh. Oh shit! I didn't realize that's not my pawn. Here, strike with lightning on your side. Yeah, burn the corpse. You're doing great. Oh, that's an exit to the cave. Yeah, the Headwater Cavern. Lantern said, it's biggest, not you. Ah, okay, sorry. Are those bats by your side? Let us leave them be. Doo -doo -doo. Oh. What is this? It's a big aesthetic, uh, aesthetical change, so let's see. Hopefully there's something good in you know. Ah. Hello there. It's a naked guy. Yes, yes Jared, I also don't like naked people, just burn them. Yes, that's a point, Willy and Ho, you must increase production accordingly. Mob grinders? Ooh. That's actually a cool idea. Yeah, actually, making a mob grinder was probably like the best idea you can have to like just farm your the mobs. Sky is radiant this night. I feel at peace to gaze upon it. You have my support. I mean, I was, um, I know you said lantern light, but I'm just gonna talk about it anyways. I would count stealing, uh, like, non-consensual stealing as the same as with griefing, because you're taking somebody else's stuff. Obviously, they've allowed you to, like, take stuff from them, but if you just, like, 
take a shit unallowed. I think that should count similar to griefing. Why is there an H scrag of a beast? Other ways to lock your chest, that is good to know. I love that I can actually like walk over this. This is hilarious. <laughs> where do I? I'm, obviously, this is like this big wall that leads to the city, but I just wonder where it goes. I just wonder why it exists. Is it just for like to get through this cavern and then down here? I will only accept the mob farm grinder maybe made by bone. Made of bone. I mean, obviously. If <laughs> you don't trust your fellow Rising Blur fans. I tr I wouldn't even trust me, man. Lock your chest, or else I'm gonna... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lock your chest, or else I'm gonna come and steal all your shit. Gerald, don't kill yourself and come over here. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? If you feel overburdened, mayhap I could carry some things for you. Ha, huh, interesting. What, what is... Is that a harpy nest? On top of this thing? Seriously? Ha. Huh. My curative magics are at your disposal. Then use Wait it! Okay. Ooh, a token, nice. Okay, it actually was worth it to get up here. Ah, oh, now here's a surprise. I mean, it was probably a good idea to, like, discovery. finally just give them in and also just get rid I of our other things in my inventory. Not gonna lie, I love building but not farming. Same, actually. I like, like, exploring in Minecraft, like, going for dungeons and shit, like, dungeon crawling and building stuff. What I do not enjoy is the need of the constantly going outside to, like, chop trees, get more stone and stuff like that. My girlfriend was actually the one who liked doing that shit, which resulted in us basically having like, like, we built a house where everyone can put their materials in so that everyone just can like, take it. Like a big... I do you call this like, like a big... What's the English word for that again? A big hall where everyone can put his stuff. You'll find only... And quality is what you need if you want to survive. Yeah. <sighs> Final Origin will let you summon a much larger variety of minions at a much higher cost. Oh, that was interesting. Do you want to share your knowledge with us? I think I'm just going to get rid of all of these things. I don't need them. I want to keep the fairy stone because I think it's hilarious. Let's go just get rid of all of these armor pieces that I do not need. So if all you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths. The Death Sworn summons minions via reducing your maximum health. Oh, that is also a cool system. You again. It reminds me of Gidonia, where you were able to get more well. summons by reducing your maximum mana. Where was my home again? The itch, in my case. What a strange room! Uh, yeah, on, on the server there's actually a, a, mob, uh, a, new, uh, a new channel called Mod Recommendations. Shall we get some rest then? Nah, no, Gerald, what do you have to tell me for that thing? Oh, nice, he killed more Cyclops. Kill more Cyclops. Get some aged meat.
I fought many battles. Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept. I'll consider well. mod uh, additions after Rising's first play session. Exactly, yeah. I'm just gonna try it out tomorrow. And after that, everyone. Now, maybe the server can constantly like, develop, I think. Oh, there we go. It. Is there a. There's a ladder here. Yeah, is there a reason why he's standing in a completely different area? Use. Much appreciated. Hmm, he still has nothing new to say. What is this guy doing here? Oh, it's also armored one. Are you serious? Okay. Hello, big guy. What's this foe doing here? I I'm gonna show you a trick. His face is armored, but you can do something about it. Bang. <laughs> oh! No, you can't do it anymore. What? Okay, well, how do you fell him then? Oh shit, Mala Tornado inside of a city, Jerem! Holy shit! In the first game, you did it by, uh, like, swinging your metal weapon against the helmets so that they just throw it away. I actually did throw it away. Not, just not for the same reason. Okay, I'm just gonna climb them up again. Ow. Well, they guys stumble. Fall down, asshole. Yeah. Ah, I'm stuck. Yeah! I like when I'm also just stuck to the monster when I do this attack. This is cool. Fucking random. Take each trial as it comes. Well, have you played any, uh... Paradise games? Paradox games. Uh, I actually have no idea what these games are, to be totally honest. So my, I think my answer is no. Sorry. You looking to join? Who join? Paradox Interactive, the game company. Actually, hmm, I'm unsure to be totally honest. Yep. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. It's nice to see the map also finally getting somewhat completed. I still hope I can get to this area because on the, at least the, the only road left is like this one. So I hope I can get up there somehow. It'd be kind of a waste. Otherwise. Tiring. Hmm. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. I have a feeling that you talked about the games of this company in the past, but I'm unsure. Like seriously, I have no idea anymore. You're hungry, but you have no food at home? How so? Did your parents not buy anything? Kill lizard man. Kill lizard man. Fuck. Wasn't me. The house has been renovated. Ah, cool. Renovations are always like a lot of fun to me. Making a place look completely different and new. I grant you lightning spangs. Are you still a mage? No, no quiz. I'm not a mage anymore. I am the the beginning knight. I my weapon is just magically imbued thanks to the mage I have with me. 
I leveled up the, uh, the, the higher vocation of the mage, the sage, to the maximum, to level 9. So I just switched to something else before I want to try out the Mystic Spearhead. I'm having a lot of fun, to be honest. It's a fun class. This looks as if it would fetch a hefty sum. Whether or not we make the sale is for the Arisen to decide. Hello, Nichman. I see you ditched the staff for stab. Obvious. By way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Obviously, at some point I had no choice. I currently am the slicey stabby with a shield. I'm thinking that I'm either gonna go the f uh, the knight class after that, like because I think this class is called the fighter, and after that I should the the two-handed big guy version is called the knight, I think. But I think I'm just gonna after I level this class to max, I'm just gonna switch to the mystic spearhead because I really wanna try out that weapon. It looks a lot of fun, and then I'm really the magic stable. Explode! Explode! Oh yeah, that's the cool. Let's do the cool one. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing is cooler than walking slowly away from an explosion. Okay, that has been this path. I don't think there's anything left here as well. At least it doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's his house again. Ah, no problem. I was wondering what, what this sound was made by. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Hmm. So yeah, going more into the spell slicing warrior, very good. I mean, it's my favorite class in any video game. If I have a choice to have like magic while still having some physical capabilities, I'm almost gonna do it. One of the reasons why I like the necromancer so much, because they always still have physical weapons they fight with. You think it's fun to watch? That makes me happy. It's a lot of fun to play as well, but I have to admit, Watching some like like clips of other people playing this game and just like getting completely fucked up or doing something cool is a lot of fun, yeah. I actually downloaded most most recordings I did so far to make some shots. I just have to like finally get to it. I mainly focus on working on the next video. And I'm lazy. Uh, you didn't want to go the rogue and double down on the stabbing. At some point I'm gonna level the thief. Especially because I found, uh, thanks to Dapper, I found something, uh, found out something very interesting that I want to try in the future. That you can only do as a thief, or as the rogue for higher level version. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna play that class as well. I just want to like level the Mystic Spearhand next, because I think every time I get to max vocation level, I'm just gonna switch. Because why should I keep it? I just wasted XP at that point. And also, at some point, I really want to try out the magic, uh, the magic archer. Oh, that chest is already open. God damn it! There's no higher level version. Oh, there's no higher level version of the uh, of a thief. Only of a. That's weird. So it's like like uh, they split the thief and archer into like two different classes that are like making it the one that was in the first game, and then they only gave you a magic archer instead of like also giving you like a higher vocation version. So, no, that's kind of sad to be honest. But I mean, yeah, what, what else would you do with a with a rogue, magic rogue? A flawless execution. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. Poor thief players, me, have no vocation upgrade path. Yeah, that's so sad. And, like, that's a thing, at least... that That's one thing that has to exist, in my opinion. At least one upgrade for every class. Who knows, maybe they're gonna add it with the inevitable DLC. Because of that, that's also, like, a way I think that would be the easiest way to, like, 
Offer new content, just give us more vacations. Oh, a remake of an old cannibalism mod. And another necromancy origins. What? I see there's a lot of shit you're still trying out, man. <laughs> Let's see. The only thing I do not like about this map system is how, like, you can really tell where you were, uh, we didn't go so far. And if you can't just go there, it's very patchy. It's just kind of sad. How did you forgot to watch that we're watching a live stream? Hi, <laughs> Lichman. Howdy, everyone. Howdy, Wandering Ragabond. Nice to see you here again. Are you ready for some exploring before we try to topple that kingdom over there? I have a quest. I have a clothing. I should just be able to, like, put that on, talk to that knight at night, <laughs> and then meet up with Arisen. Or like the false arisen, the sovereign. Hey. I'm also expecting that after we complete this quest, we're probably gonna unlock the second half of the map. Because I'm running out of things to do in this half. <laughs> yep, I really need to get to the second half. Ooh, don't fall down, please. Master. Yep. Have no in exploiting our enemy's weakness. I mean, I don't think we need to exploit our weakness when I look at the damage. Let us not get ahead of ourselves. The battle continues. Oh, One thing that I'm actually like the most excited about when I play this is the inevitable DLC, for the specific reason that I hope it's going to be similar how it was done in the first game, because the DLC was a pretty high level area. It was basically made for you to be played after you already reached a very high level in, in like New Game Plus 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 or something. And I hope it's gonna be similar. That you are just because the game gets pretty easy after a while. And I hope it's gonna be like a massive new dungeon to explore, filled with new enemies, bosses, and a lot of shit to do. That was the best part Traveling of the first game. I came upon a cave whose secrets you have yet to discover. Tis nearby. Shall eh. I lead the way? I mean, I think I found the cave. The exact second you talked about it. Or should I think I fell down? Akira did all to do the trick. That's my magic. Do your weapon with the fury of the element. Was it a tornado? Okay, I thought that was like a monster scream. No, it's just a tornado that was summoned. Yes. Trembling Hollow. That is a name. Yeah, I think you, did, you really cannot just get here over here. That's kind of sad, though. That's like a big chunk of a map that you cannot enter. Who knows, maybe that's the, exp the place where the DLC is gonna be. I mean, there's a lot of space we could you still use, so... Yeah. Hmm. There's the imagination like a place is yet unvisited. We ought not to let curiosity ah, Oh my god, I can just cancel my attack. Are you serious? Okay, that's it. Fuck you, Archer. I said fuck you! I'm stuck. Oh, yeah, I'm also gonna enjoy it. <laughs> the big stable. I also really cannot wait to, uh, to finally play uh, Elden Ring with you guys. Because I think we might be able to beat this game one or two months before the Elden Ring DLC comes out. Hopefully, that's like that would be like the best case scenario. Ooh, and if I manage to do that. We're so gonna play the entirety. Because 
I... It's not gonna be like a, like a 100% thing or anything. I just want to like no play through the entire game. Yet, so, to make, to make ourselves ready for the DLC rises. and play through the entire DLC with you guys. Because I have already beaten the game, but... Um, one of the most recurring viewers, AFK, actually created an entire necromancer build for Elden Ring for me. So, we're, I'm gonna try out this build, play through the game from the beginning, try to recreate all of the things he sent me for the build, and hopefully be able to either enhance the build with the DLC, or just try to like survive it <laughs> with the build. I hope I'm. I hope I'm going to manage. Oh shit! I, I don't think I can get back through that way again. Yeah, let's just walk over there again. DLC adventure takes place in a re uh, region full of magical radiation. You can use an item to resist radiation for an hour. They can be bought as DLC as well, individually yeah, or in bundles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, and no other way. I hope, I sincerely hope that the backlash for this, for the DLCs in this game kinda were a wake-up call for uh, for Capcom because they are the most fair and less intr least intrusive deal microtransactions company. Like, they are the company that makes it the least intrusive. But yeah! Easier fast travels for real money is kind of shitty. It is really shitty. Let's not beat around the bush with that. So yeah, I'm really hoping that... Hopefully we'll learn for future projects. Oh, who knows? Maybe it's gonna be worse in, in Monster Hunter. Who knows how Monster Hunter Wilds is gonna be. Because here's the thing, to be totally honest, the magical radiation area where you die after an hour sounds like actually a pretty interesting idea that you can work with. You could probably do something similar to how it does done for in games like Enshrouded or Metroid Prime 2. Although you can probably also just make it to make people <laughs> to pay more money to you. Let's hope there's something interesting in this dungeon still. Up, oh, oops. I, I want to get up there, please. Oh my bandits! Yeah! Where's everyone else? Where the fuck is everyone else? Oh, there they are. Oh shit, the burning. The sun is burning. The sun is burning! I'm also burning! Ooh! Okay, that was cool. Gravestone? Huh. Gimp the wizard. <laughs> There's nothing better than gimping wizards. <laughs> this looks like I could get through that. Yeah. Nice. Oh shit! Hello there, cuties! Oh, I wish it would be mine. That was a skillful bit of thinking. You do your vocation proud. New DLC adventure can only be started by progressing at a specific time of in-game day. <laughs> we won't tell you what the time is. <laughs> Ask around for town, town folk, I guess. Oh, that sounds like something they could actually do. That actually sounds like something I would imagine them doing. Skeleton. These fiends are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. I think this guy's skull is more than just smashed. An astounding discovery. Shield of Wormroth, isn't that the exact same one that I have right now? Yes. I love finding shit I can buy in cities in dungeons. Nothing better to do in video games. Where are the skeletons? <laughs> 
Oh, that's a lot of them! Dragon's Dogma Warrior is my favorite video game. Ah, shit. Why are there, uh, there's so many of them all of a sudden? Like, you can't tell me that loot in that chest was that worthy of summoning that many skeletons. Seriously, that's it? A secret token? That's right, I've heard a story over and over again. She can finally meet her other friends. Who am I? Who am I? Oh, is that another, mu is that another movie lyrics, man? <laughs> Would you rather buy an expensive shield and 30 minutes later find a better shield in the it. wild? Yes. Have gone unchanged for a while Actually, yes. Our combined might is I would rather find record. better gear in the wild, even if it's shortly after buying gear, because that would just tell me I'm not... I shouldn't buy gear, than just finding the exact same shit. I don't know how other people are with that, but I do not like if the best gear you can find is the one you can buy. Because I've... I'll just like it more when I re when I feel like I've earned the gear by like doing a certain task, killing a certain enemy or something. <laughs> the chair has one in re control knowledge, man. You're right, that's why you can't see my hands. <laughs> Ah, don't, don't, don't fall down, please. You have missed the beginning of the stream, one room, Ragabond. <laughs> I got a call, so there was only the chassis <laughs> visible in the video. <laughs> and then people wanted the, ch wanted the chair more than they wanted me, so I just played outside of the camera. Hello, cuties, can I walk through there? I'll go and open the chest. Hmm. Don't mind if you do. Something interesting here. Uh, all of them want to attack me because I because I should put, 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 uh, put my sword, don't they? Don't just walk around and follow me because I fucking took my sword, guys. It's not that deep. Hello, guy. Yeah. Can I move it? Oh, I think I have to wait for the pawns here. I'll handle this. Thank you. I made a prefer uh, if a shop's equipment is mid tier and top tier is after you slay a mighty beast foe to show you earned it. Exactly. Hmm, I can't move it still. I think I'm missing pawns for that. Well, in the war it goes. One can see far to the distance from here. It would be a good place to take stock of our surroundings. I quite agree. For me, the thing is, if a, if a best gear is the one you, that you can just buy for real money. That's also the reason why I don't like crafting. I, I do not like it if you have to craft in games to, like, make the best gear. Because it feels like the same way. I, it, do, it doesn't really feel like I earned it, just that I found out the best crafting recipe. And I'm doing it myself. Instead of, like, earning it by killing a strong foe or something. But I think that's, like, personal preference. I like the way they announced it for Diablo Diablo 4 season season 4. I really think it's interesting how they did it th uh, do it there with you basically being able to like further upgrade your gear by doing a certain new dungeon type or like these new challenges they introduced to give yourself more affixes and make the gear stronger. I think that's an interesting way to do it. Because I like upgrading my gear. I do not like to like have to make new shit that is stronger than my current one. Your de new DLC can only be accessed by jumping on top of a griffin you're... 
By jumping on top of a griffin and letting it fly into the new region. <laughs> I forgot. That sounds like, to be honest, that sounds like a really fun idea. That's a really fun idea how they could do it. Well, I think I explored basically everything in this part of the map. I think it's time to go back to... Yeah, I'm just gonna use a fairy stone for that. I have enough. Oh, I actually found one of these again. Use a fairy stone and go to Harf Village, yes. Riftstone we've not discovered. Why is this far? See this way, as I recall. From my last sojourn, but here we are. Well, it actually is a phylactery. I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the bridge. Wait for me, bro! Gets impaled by Ballista Bolt. <laughs> uh, sorry, not sorry, I'd say. I was referencing the fight where a griffin flew across the world. I mean, yeah! <laughs> it would be fucking cool! To, to be honest, in a, in a kind of way. To access the new area uh, by, uh, that way. To be fair, it would be necessary for you to instantly have a like port crystal to get back to this place. And Pista can't set up the files for the Minecraft mods, why can't you? What's the problem? what transpired. Thank you for fighting on my people's behalf. You cannot imagine my relief when I beheld that everyone had made it out unharmed. Say, would you visit me again once night has fallen? There's aught I would show you. Oh. Oh, that sounds interesting. Ah, oh, phylactery is a, is a type of work container where you sort of religious start in D&D. That would just take my Tupperware, my trusty. I'd say let's go to sleep until night then. Welcome to browse my For bread and board, you'll find none better. Ugh. Ugh, my neck is so stiff, man. Uh, let's also get rid of these, yeah, why not? Uh, anything here? Nah. Gerald, do you have anything that I could get rid of? That's good. Oh, you have a lot. And you. Love it. Lovely. Uh, let's just go to sleep then. We must rest. Though the sun is still The up. YouTube Shorts tab now has an ad every four shorts. Rip never using the feature again. Every fourth shot is, a, is an ad now. Oh man. An odd thing to wake after the sun has you break the soul Tupperware and the lich can't respawn off. anymore. Ready to forge on? <laughs> so keep a close eye on that lich surprise DVD box set. Not my prize DVD box set. I mean, a clone with a fresh body uh, sounds like a pretty fun idea. Oh, this looks literally like the place where you start your DLC in the first game. Okay, what do you want, girl? You've come. Glad I am oh, she's right in the face. Follow me, if you oh. Is she horny? <laughs> oh! Thing. I never knew how vast the sky was. I left Mel behind. I don't have my mask on. Time and again, you have come to my I, aid. I don't have my mask on. I you know what this means, guys? You in some way. We're gonna get smooches. Little I have to offer. Yet, 
If your heart e'er aches for a place to call home, then may this village... No, not the village. If e'er you're in need of a hearth to return to, then let it be mine. Oh, hell yeah. I definitely am romancing the right person. Um. Mm -hmm. I just had sex! <laughs> Completed. Home is where the heart is. Yeah. Was that the end of the quest? With air trials we may face, I shall see this village and its people safely through them all. What air trials we may face, I shall see this village and its people. Si I'll gather this. It might be of use. Oh, I wish I could do more with her. Uh, hmm. What air trials we may face. Can I? Can I like? Can I gift her something? I shall see this village. It doesn't look like I can gift her something. That's kind of sad. But what is cute is every time I talk to her, I can see her face is blushing. That's probably a good sign, isn't it? Guys. I don't know how woman work. <laughs> oh, look how many people are here. This is so cool, I love it. Well met. Fancy a look at my wares. It really is starting to feel more lively in here, I love it. Anchor of Heaven, interesting weapon name. Oh, that's a cool robe. Legacy cloak. Do come again. This is the immortality ritual uh, that prevents uh, all damage besides void for half a Minecraft day. There's death protection property. Puppets. There's Lich Storm. That all sounds so crazy, no man. Purchases to be made today, I see. The mod is, ma the mod is the so ridiculous. I'm kind of sad this is the end of a quest. Where's the... Where's this other guy? Uh, yeah, I can't go to Bethal yet. Keep an eye on the beggar, yes. Content with your pursuer. Can't really do those things for some reason. I mean, the only quest that I have left is this one right now. Yeah. I don't really know what else should, uh, I should do, to be honest. Maybe I just need to get to the second half of a map to, like, unlock more shit? Isn't as ever prudent in the application of coin. Because I know her quest still continues, thanks to Dapper. I know that at some point I can talk to her to find out where the dragon is that attacked the village. Where, uh, that attacked Melf back then to kill it and by that also unlock the highest power like the, the meister skill of the mystical spearhead look at how many people are you oh hey look at this guy i appreciate all you've done for us friend i doubt we'd have made it here at all save for your aid thank you for it the only thing I need... Where is the um, Mystic Spearhead Meister in general? He should also live in the village somewhere. Heard of any ways to make some easy coin? Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna return later then. Who's living up here? Ah, I think I found him. Sigurd, you're the current Arisen, aren't you? I pray you do not walk the same path as I have. Tis a style all my own, a patchwork of techniques, honed for the sole purpose of slaying the dragon. Aye, good luck to you. For so long as we are united in our resolve to slay the dragon, you shall have my aid. 
Okay, this seems to be his home then. Let's hope that at a later point I'm able to do the quest then. Oh, uh, let me get through there. Okay, now it is time to take the fancy clothes. And hopefully reveal that we are the actual sovereign. Let's just teleport back to the city. It isn't really worth it to walk the entire way. Okay, let's let's look fancy. Uh, uh, why can't I? Ah, this lab. Hope I can do it now. Remove clothing and stuff. Yep, remove, equip, uh, equip, equip, remove. It looks sturdy enough. Now we look real fancy. Perhaps new discovery. I think I, although I think I can just leave the mask behind. He's await us above. We ought to bring word of this to Captain Brandt. I actually think I really look cool on this. If you want to join the server, I just want an army of zombies and say they are my uh, channel colony. Why not, man? <laughs> the person we're here to meet is nowhere to be seen. Shall we come back later? The current hour ill suits our progress. Let us visit an inn or make oh, a camp. And set out again later. Welcome. There's our quarry now. Seems we were ah. in the right place after all. Okay, then let's talk to him. Am I fancy enough for you, good sir? We ought to tend to. If we are to stretch, all shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, it is best you do so before we depart. Very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty will do well to get a good night's rest. The following morning. Hey look at that, Gerald is here as well. Uh oh, oh no. Master! Pray, leave this place! My body, it refuses to obey me. What the fuck? There is a voice within my mind. It commands me, sways my very will. Sways your will? Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, your majesty. I fear our plans may fall to law. Oh no. Let us return to the tavern. What is happening? Is, oh no, is that for sickness? What is with his heart? Is that like a stone to fake him being the arisen? We've been had. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> the false sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the god's way mentioned in that letter. A chance tis a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this god's way's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Pray. Allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Well, that is terrifying. I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this God's way? I suppose it is pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brandt's investigation. Uh, I think I'm just going to wait for the next day. You have my support. You may, you, you may think the bad amulet is cursed, what gives you that expression? 
Not sickness, but God's way is a way to control pawns and now it has a high priority over the Arisen. Oh, that's fucked up. For one second I thought my we pawn is just like getting this dragon sickness, or it's called. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strength regarding the matter of the God's way, I fear there is naught to be done, save for your majesty to venture to Batal, where you might uncover the false sovereign's secrets directly. The sigil upon that letter from some days past bore the crest of the Batali palace. Surely this ought to be found therein. Yet official dealings twixt Batal and Brumund are suspended. Passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task. With such hindrances in mind, I thought to prepare this. Pray, take few may pass through Batal's fortress. Save Beastron merchants. With some coin, I was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit. It is most fortunate that your majesty is a Beastron. <laughs> You ought pass through the border checkpoint without undue trouble. Hey! It also gave me a pawn crystal, that is cool. But that's good. That's actually really good. Okay. Now I know what we have to do. And I was right. <laughs> We actually now unlocked the the way to get to the second half of the map. The main quest is also like the only one I can do right now. Nation of a Lambert Flame, yeah. I mean, we also can finally do the <laughs> case of a sculptor's block. Oh, look at that! That one quest is gone. It would be interesting to know if there's like, like new quests now. Keep it, uh, keep it you. There's no pot crystal in Back Buffalo. I mean, it makes sense, yeah. There's a reason you get one right now. If you just look at this, yeah, it's like all the way over here. I get where you're getting something to like pot yourself over there instantly. Uh, I'm just gonna. I mean, this is both like literally the next, next to each other. So I'm just gonna like keep the sculptor's block one here first. Mm. Now that you're also here, Dapper, can you maybe tell me when do I? When do I get the quest to like kill the dragon in Heart Village? Like how? Because I finished the quest. I make out made out with Ulrika. There was just nothing else happening, which kind of made me sad. I also found out where the... Where the missing spearhead Meister is living, but sadly... I think it's too early for me to do the quest. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road. Though carts travel only by the sun's light. It's not a quest and the drink isn't the in the hearth. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Oh, so I basically finished the story quest involving Ulrika and, and Melv. And now I have to do something else. Hmm. Just the same dragon that attacked. And once I kill and like how I understood it was the once I killed it, I get the Meister skill? Was it that? Lol, did, did you see the mini map right now? You were literally able to see how my how my pawns were teleporting. We might find a use for it. It's in the far southwest. So like down here. I mean I'm getting there anyway, so maybe we can actually find it. It should be powerful enough at this point to kill the dragon. What, uh, what level spell slot do you have? What, uh, what do you mean? This game doesn't have like... I have my ma my vocation class on maximum for the sage, so... We're talking about this game, I have my spells on the maximum. It's level 9. Max level for vocation is level 9. If I were you, master, I'd not leave... A merchant, eh? 
Have you an entry permit? Hold a moment. That cart has priority. Lord Phasus is come! Open the gates! Lord Phasus. Hmm. <laughs> that mask looks so stupid, I love it. So, you seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Go on through. Is the gate just open now, or do I have to talk to this guy every time? Nice. How might I be of assistance? Pass through the gate at the border. Cool, cool. Now we enter the second half of the map. I can't wait. It's actually really cool. Can you cast a uh, wish or time stop or maybe power word kill? No. The mage in this game is very basic. It just, it just has like a lot of different spells that you can cast, like you know, like fireballs, tornadoes, ice magic. You're starving. Food? Have you any food? Many thanks. I'm still very hungry. Spare some charity for the poor. Ah! You there! What do you think you're doing, huh? You keep your hands off him. Don't go thinking you can treat the poor however you like just because you're better off. Uh, calm down, Hugo. You've got it all wrong. This kind sir has been good enough to share some food with me. I've the both of you to thank for my good health. And my full belly. Is that right? I suppose I owe you an apology then, cuz. In my defence, one can't be too careful. There's a child snatching scoundrel around nearly every corner in these parts. The name's Hugo, by the way. I'm a helper of sorts to the poor who live here. Ain't many folk willing to offer that sort of kindness. Even just one more's a glad sight, let me tell you. So pay me no mind. And I'm sorry for before. If you're here to help, I'll not say another word against you. Huh. Many, many thanks, sir. Lucky I am to have the two of you looking out for me. Many. M that was an interesting interaction. I think it had it sets up something. I just wish I knew where that guy went now. He definitely isn't here. A group of bandits has been- They call themselves the Coral Snakes. And worse still, they are- What say you? Would you lend your- Many thanks, sir. You all begin by scout me. Have you could learn aught by- Inquire about the bandit gang. I can do that. I see it's already a good idea to just talk to the people. Let's go on the new island adventure. Woo! I already know this area is more desert like, so that's gonna be cool. Yeah, already looking crazy. There's been more trouble, as if we needed it. Happened right near here, too. I'd bet my left boot, twas those coral snakes behind it. Nowhere's safe anymore. Seems they've slipped past this checkpoint and gone right into Batal. Whether they put all that effort into honest work like the rest of us, if someone doesn't put a stop to them anon, we'll all be sorry. A city can't function without a steady supply of goods, and fewer and fewer carts are making the journey. They say you should be thankful for your life, but simply being alive isn't the same as living. Eh? The trouble happened due south of here. It will be those coral snakes again. I'm sure of it. I see if coral snakes are getting... Very annoying, Vazaria. I just had a thought. I shall never forget the agony I felt at the coronation. We Ooh. must need to uncover this secret power that allows for the command of pawns. So, 
After breaking free of the chains of Oh, this guy again. You to this land. You return of your own volition. Good night, Cyrus. This is <laughs> I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your home to visit the Rockmaster's Borough in Black Bazaar. Methinks it is where you will find that which you seek. Who is this person, seriously? Getting a lot of quests from people. Is it a set of Oxcard Raid? I think I'm just gonna do this first. Yeah, it's on the way anyways. But then look at this. Oh, of course, more Griffin. Oh, it looks beautiful. Is the water standing still back there? I mean, it makes sense, but still. Oh, there's a camera as well. A camera in its natural habitat. <laughs> Let's hope to see a lot of new shit as well. Hello! Oh, fuck off. But at least I know I'm up to the challenge. Try not to get hit. A Savannah Desert Zone is more than the first game ever had, so I'm pretty happy. The first game basically had like only one big area. Arising, since you uh, will probably be on the server before I can get home, I'll tell you now. Remember to hide your IP address. It's a toggle? Wait, what do you mean about hiding my IP address? Is the game showing, my, showing, is the game showing where I live? Hello, it's cut. The P dresses on the Minecraft server. Well ah. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No yeah, I'm not hoping that I'm gonna show it. Into the next. During my travels beyond the rift, I learned of a cave near here that you have yet to explore. Shall I take us there? Okay, now I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, if you want to join the stream, if you want to join the server, you definitely should be on the Discord first. That Pedro sh should be on the Discord, if anything. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Oh, shit. Yeah, that is a dragon. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Freaking look on these maps is always the craziest part for me. Like, I, like I'm such a massive fan of like this view, and still being able to like see big monsters in the, in the background. One can see well into the distance from here. The scenery of Vital is wondrous to behold. This area is so different. I love it. It might be good for you to uh, have a talkable height screen, Lichman. I mean, like, I mean, I have something like that. I have this screen, I have this screen, I have this screen, and I have the starting screen. <laughs> so technically, uh. I have to like redesign the entire like menu anyways. I want to inc uh, start including stuff because I want to add more stuff to the overlay. For example, I want to add a section for no sense letting like personalized pop-ups once someone, for example, get, becomes a member or follows, or if at some point if people are gonna start like donating money or something, so that there's gonna be a text-to-speech message. 
Then it's gonna pop up on the screen. I think that's pretty cool. You just have to like find out how to like set all these things up. Hello, big guy. Where's this guy coming? Come on. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's broken. Got the resurrected level for tech issues. I mean, yeah, that that could work. I definitely have to do a few things in the future to like personalize a bit more. I'm currently trying to like uh, find a new style for the for the videos in general. The next necromancer video is gonna try a lot of new things, and I'm excited to do that. Ah! <laughs> Necrotron says no for net and not safe for work screens. That would probably be a fun idea. I also have to help key them and then to just be able to like switch them with a keyboard instead of always having to. Ooh. Not always having to rely on me actually going to the right screen with a mouse. I have a lot of plans for the future. At some point, maybe I also want to like uh, commission someone to like make more professional screens, maybe. Because I think those like, for example, a screen that's just going like Necrochan says no. I think that would be cool if there's like like an actual artwork there that I either made myself or commissioned somebody else to do. Our victory is not assured here. We must Probably just gonna make it myself, let's be honest. Our foe take us by surprise. Really now? Why didn't he use a shield? Anyway, I've set my piece on the Minecraft server. Feel free to have a look. I mean, I'm definitely gonna look at it later. Once the stream is over, I'm, I also I always check up on the newest messages on the Discord. Ow, no, don't die. Please don't die. Help! Help! You have my protection. Send me a risk. I might take Oh come on, seriously. Ah, uh, don't attack me, please. Cut it off! Cut the tail off! Yes! Oh... Where's the health coming from? Where the fuck did that guy come from? Well, that's a long-haired ogre. Where did that guy come from? It's actually a new version of an ogre. Oh, why is a Sal uh, Salvia looking at that? Saliva. Why is it glowing? Do you need to be scared? I just climb on top of it. Plan B in all situations. Hello! <laughs> da -da -da. Just treat it like a super uh, detailed title card. I mean, yeah, it makes sense, right? We must rally. I mean, I have a lot of like cool things in the future that I can't talk about yet because I think uh, because I want to make them surprises, similar to the April Fool's joke, but more serious. Definitely, it's a new version of this guy. He has completely different attacks. Topple you asshole! He also is a lot more tanky than the normal version. Oh, hell yeah, finally. Get stabbed in the face! Oh, 
Oh, he's jumping! He's jumping! Oh my god! Oh, that tornado was almost hitting him. I think it's making damage. Maybe your family has got the artistic talent to make your own cover screens. I mean, thank you. Thank you a lot, actually. The thing is, I would like to have stuff like animated uh, splash screens for that. I think that would be really cool. At some point, for example, I had to make something like... Imagine the little guy on the left and the guy on top of me actually like moving. I think that would be really cool. This is to like find out how, how I can do this. Okay, jump down. Whee! Oh god, it's getting night already. Oh, breed! No! Is he frozen? Oh my god, he's actually frozen because he was in the water! Oh, that's such a cool detail. Oh, I love it. Was that another tornado? Yeah, it was. Where is he? Come on, hold on. I like that there's like stronger versions of normal enemies now. I really enjoy this. It's cool to see an ogre that is actually like not a pushover anymore. That was cool. Where am I even? Oh my lord. <laughs> Oh, there was also a dungeon. Okay, the rocky layer. This. More of these fuckers. Mind, but they do not poison you. I love the animation when you finish them off with an impaler. Like, just look at this. Bam! <laughs> Oh god, he cast Meteor. <laughs> if it works, it works, right? That should be the way up again, yeah. Let's go to the cave. I am definitely just gonna explore more now. If we have already unlocked new maps. And because the game is not showing you if you have completed the dungeon yet or not, I'm just gonna do them instantly. It's not worth it, just as like... Not do them and completely forget which ones you've already done and which one you didn't. Master, I found a campsite near here while I was journeying beyond the rift. Shall I take us there now? Let's look at the rocky lair. Oh, hello. What is this? What is that? Here, lightning. Oh, shit, is that a warwick? Okay, they're definitely a new enemy. Oh my god, Elbreed. They're definitely a new enemies in this game. I, what? I have never seen this thing. Where is it coming from and why is it just suddenly here? Sinister Fang. Hmm. No account of its name. <laughs> that definitely was like a big angry wolf wolf. Okay, that is... That is actually really exciting to see that there's so many new enemies already. It's actually really exciting to see so many new enemies. 
A fine thing, this. A pity it is wasted on us. There's no harm keeping it on hand till a use presents itself. You said it, Gerald. Are you fucking serious? Okay, this was just like a random cave with one big angry doggo in it. Can't relate. Also, just as a little disclaimer, I'm not gonna play for that much longer today. I have a few things I have to uh, do still. Just wanted to finally continue. But tomorrow... Tomorrow we're gonna have a fun. And we're gonna play a few different necromancy games. I have to set up... I still have to set a few of them up, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to like, especially play Minecraft. And hopefully, at least, also to try out... Uh, Grim Dawn. Yeah! If we have time, we can also definitely continue Dragon's Dogma, but uh, those things have, like, more priority tomorrow. Oh. Who, who are you? What would you with me? You looking for the Coral Snake's hideout? Don't ask me. They were on us before I knew what was happening. Couldn't even guess where they... Come to think of it, it was as we passed the crags to the west of here that they all came out at once. That's all I know. I ran for my life. Only reason I'm still here. Thought I'd come back, see if aught was left. But just being here again puts my hairs on end. You know what? I just remembered. There was a child traveling with us. Wonder if the lad's all right. Oh fuck, they have a kind of a child. Okay, now we have to help them. Is it a village? The coral snakes were seen twixt Batal and the rest town. Oh no, that's just a lot of fucking goblins! That's a goblin hideout! <laughs> Is a nasty huh. It's a goblin hideout. They live here in the rocks. I love it. You have my protection. Ow. Ah, every bitch! Fuck you, Yellow didn't hit him. Take that. I like my par parries with an easy in this game. Is that it? Okay, then let's just steal all the belongings and go. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Okay, that was a good waste. I have to go in the other direction for this. Okay, then. We prevailed by the skin of our teeth. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. I mean, definitely, I definitely want to level. <laughs> I definitely need to level more. I mean, if you look at the level cap, we still are very low. Would that such tranquility could last? And maybe three percent of the level cap. Hmm. I can't see shit. Love it. Okay, then let's raid these raiders hideout. Let's do what we do best. <laughs> Hello, my guys. Yon path leads not to our destination. First blood's always the sweetest. Oh god. You all right? That's Hugo again. Halt, I say! Who? Fight. I'll have you. Uh. Is Hugo actually ah, one of these snake you people? Are. You're the one who'll be aiding us in routing the coral snakes? Yes, I believe their hideout lies somewhere nearby. Though the entrance has proven elusive. Hmm. 
Uh, this is the ox cart. I'm guessing this is the entrance. <laughs> okay, Hugo seems to be one of the coral snakes. Where did he go? There he is! Just follow the light! It makes it kinda easy. We've a choice of where to go, but how to know the path best traveled? Oi! Have you lost it? A child was hurt during today's raid. Don't hurt children. That's the rule. Don't tell me you forgot. Sorry. Must have slipped my mind. It's like that, is it? Huh? That what you're gonna tell Lenzo? He says we don't hurt kids. So you bet- Hold it! Who's this, then? We've got an intruder. I'll go warn Lenzo. Coming here was the last mistake you'll ever make, cuz. Oh, they're gonna regret that. Oh, they're gonna re regret saying that so much. Come here, piece of shit. Oh, god damn it. I'll breach, you're ruining my moment. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> the range of that attack is so, so tiny. Okay, let's see what these guys are up to. Huh. Interesting place. Son of a... <laughs> There's a ladder here. Seems we've enemies in our midst. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Uh. Don't jump down, please. I'm just gonna raid this place while I'm here. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Nicely done! Nice of you to say so! Well said. Ha! Oh god. Oh, that's a lot happening at once right now. Ah! Help! Help! Healing! Healing! That's what I need, Jessica! Okay, I think I have to use a healing potion myself. Oh fuck, Gerald died. Why did Gerald die? I attacked him. Oh, it's pro it probably was poison, right? Me for being a burden, you are not a burden. My You're my sweet little baby. Whoever hurt you is gonna get punished! Like this guy. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, now if you now if you're kinda sorry. How do I get down there? Oh shit, the tornado. You are in need of healing. Oh, Jared is not playing around right now. <laughs> a short jaunt can quickly become a journey. Till before you know it, you're bruised up and all out of curatives. Ah, yes. That sounds familiar. Okay, right, let's go up here. Can I just turn around? Jump over? Okay, yeah, I can. That's good. The guy went somewhere in this direction, didn't he? Yeah, in here. No, no, no. Am I going to make it? The fuck? Come on! This way! I need to get you out of here before things get bloody. That's what Lenzo said to do. If we ever got raided, 
So come on, you lot. We're going to go see him. He'll keep us all safe. I'm sure of that. They're already here. Run for it. Thank you, game, for showing me where I can go. The only other way. This feels like it's gonna be like a bigger quest again. Huh. Come on. Oh shit, where are you coming from? True bandits didn't seem coming. Phew. Hey, I don't know what I did to Hugo. I tr I mean, I got to know him like a minute earlier, just like talking about like why how nice the children are, apparently because I give them poor children food, and now I have to chase him down. I mean, if I have to guess, this is probably like a group of people who just tries to like survive and help children out to survive. Or at least, or at least you go that path. way. Mayhap it leads to a hidden hoard of treasure. Pray keep your wits about you. You kind of ended the world before finishing his quest. That sounds kind of bad. I don't stand a chance. My thanks. We shall accompany you now. Cool. Bigger party, always cool. Those coral snakes must pay for their crimes. We shall join you and aid your efforts however we can. Give no quarter. This appears to be the coral snakes' hideout. If we capture their leader, the other bandits might be brought to heat. You have my support. Well, that's probably. A, oh, I can probably just like tie him down again, similar to what I do with our people, to instantly end this. Or probably just have to find them. These people have a lot of health. Whoa! Is it our meteor spell? I hope so. So many of them, and they're also tanky. Okay, I think I'm just gonna try to kill a lot of them to let to get experience. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! My health! Oh my health! Oh, explosion. Explosions are also very nasty afflictions. Yeah, stable, stable, stable. Bam. Look at the amount of them. At least Gerald has like massive magic spells that he's putting to good use here. I can tell that it gives a lot of favor for locals. I mean, it's also a very good deed. Uh, okay, let's try to find the, the leader. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe, well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Not much chance of a friendly what conversation this doing? with this lot. My magic can view your weapon with the fury of the elements. That's all of good guys, okay. Where's this Leonard guy?
6k gold just like that? You definitely can tell this is a late game area or later game area. Uh oh, that's water. I see our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a guide. The Arisen decides right, our path. Where's everyone? We have but to follow. One of us has been poisoned. Look at how I'm pinning the guy down, I love it. Okay. Oh, this guy's gonna blow and explode. Yes! Bam! <laughs> Think I found him! Oh, excellent find. Yes. This should be his hideout. Decapitator. Is it this? Is it the same helmet I have already, or is this a stronger version? Because that would be cool. Ooh, no, it's actually a weaker version, but it has higher magic defense. Oh my god! Oh, I look so much creepier with that. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, look at that! I love it. Okay. Would have thought there would be some stones rolling down this hill. I'm happy it isn't that case. Hugo! We're in time, lad. We'll have to scarpa. Come in, lads, uh, But uh before I forget. <laughs> here you are. <laughs> Lovely piece of shit. Time for you to make yourself use. This isn't the first time I've taught an unseasoned wealth the meaning of betrayal. <laughs> and it shall be the last. <laughs> well, this guy is comically evil. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> the most casual I can't believe it after that situation. Arrest him! Lenzo. Why? A job well done. It is unfortunate that their leader escaped, but I very much doubt the coral snakes will be using this hideout again. We'll interrogate the lad, see what he knows. Mayhap he can tell us all of the leader's whereabouts. The coral snakes are still an enigma. Mayhap the lad can tell us more. It was painful to behold how callously the leader treated that young man. He shed him like an old boot. A cheerless outcome for all involved. Isn't it crazy how I started like a very cool new quest line? We're just talking to a random person that went, Oh yeah, there were some thieves down there, please, could you help me? <laughs> the guy went somewhere up here, didn't he? Over here, if you please. He shouldn't be that far, to be totally honest. Hmm. Nations of Valambian Flame. Is there anything else interesting down there? I, I'm guessing not. Anything, uh, 
I'm so thinking there's like one way where this guy could have went. And it's probably down this, this path. It would be yes. funny if we would be able to fight him that way. I thought. Take care not to fall. We ought to proceed with caution. Hmm. Better get out. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. A new day dawns at last. The sun will always rise again. It is a comforting thought. How do you get down there? Can you just... <laughs> I'm happy to have this skill. Apparently I really only can do it while not having my shield in my armor ready. For some reason. What is happening over there? Ah, skeletons. And bandits. Perfect combination. Ah. Good night, Lantern. I'm probably also gonna stop in a minute. Ah. No lag, please. I grant you lightning spangs. I really have to stop. I have to do a few other things first. What is this guy doing down there attacking me? Will he please not? Why are there so many? Man, my health is so low. Attack him. Kill the mage. Oh, should poisonous harpies now? Seriously? Aren't sleeping harpies hard enough to deal with? Uh -huh. We made sizable progress in the new area already. I think. There's a lot we can uncover, but. Yeah. Good work. I think I'm just gonna set up camp here and then end for the day. Come on, smack camp, please. So that I can just recover all my health. I don't wanna run around with like permanent half life. I'm all for swapping stories. But perhaps another night, I can scarce keep my eyes open. Nice. Who's this guy? Why does the NC want to attack me? The fuck? <laughs> Guys, just coming home. Hello, thief friends. Why the fuck is everyone dead? If we mastered that attack, we would be invincible. Yeah, looks like we're gonna go through this crevice next time down to the city. Oh, yeah, I can actually, can actually see the map here already. That's cool. Let's see. Are there uh, any interesting sites I can see here? Oh, I can actually see on the map that over here is apparently that it at least looks like there's... Oh, look at all of the... Look at this path. That's a big path over here. It's actually a really big path you can take here. And if I look on the map here, it looks like... If I take up the mouse, this looks like there's like a castle over here. That is cool. And obviously that is the city. Yeah. We're gonna explore that beautiful uh, side. Next time. Don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow or, or next week. Because like I said, mo tomorrow is Minecraft. With the necromancy mods. <sighs> Being drained by a head crab is very exhausting. <laughs> Thank you, Max, for that joke. I almost brought it myself, but I showed constraint unlike somebody else.
Uh, have a good night, everyone. And I hope I see you tomorrow with a lot of new and fulfilled energy to do fun shit. It's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be really fun. <laughs>